Greetings everybody, Guzzle here, checking out a new game for you today. This is Cubed and Dangerous. It is a top-down shooter roguelite with an interesting sort of inventory and equipment system. But anyway, guys, without any further ado, let's jump in. Now, I did a couple... I would say I played for about 20 minutes just to get through the tutorial and get familiar with the game. So why don't we do this? Right click or press Y on campaign to abandon the current run. I'm going to abandon it, uh, which is totally fine. So I can show you guys sort of the standard experience and you can guys get an idea of how this game works. Now, because I've done a, a couple things um, earlier, I've unlocked a couple of the other characters. So let's take a look here. The Gunslinger is your default character. And every uh, stat is ranked here. You've got health, you've got shields. Uh, this energy thing, I guess, is the recharging ability for weapons, special weapons and items, and then your speed. And then maybe your bartering ability at the bottom there. The Brawler has less health, but likes close combat. And he starts with a couple shotguns and stuff. Tell you what, man, because you guys would uh, probably want to see something um, that you might not see the first time. Let's take the Brawler. And let's see how he plays, and we'll see what this is all about. All right, guys, so this is a roguelite. As you can see, we have a uh, a different path to, to, to take here. Now, the game is really uh, pretty nice at the beginning. You get a free item to start. We have a relic, a trusty shovel, plus one maximum drop quality. Unique relic. All right, cool. So you can take a look at our inventory here. This is the thing that's kind of cool. So if we just show detail down here, or sorry, if we do view upgrades, we can take a look at our relics. And then here is our perk. We have a thorns perk. So shock for 10 damage when hit. All right, so there is our character. We're starting off with a centurion hat. Plus 250 armor, plus 20% to all damage. We've got light armor, so it's a common item. And then we've got a survival belt and standard issue issue boots and we've got a skill the flame boost all right and we've got a tactical turret kit and then double shotguns so let's go back to the map that's our loadout we have a couple mission choices here we've got these three guys there now i gotta be honest guys i don't know what that is because it wasn't a mission type that i think i did on the first run can we scroll the map at all it doesn't look like it uh, this yellow um, option up here is a shop, I believe. Uh, we've currently got 500 bucks. A shop's probably not a bad idea. I wonder if this is an elite enemy with that kind of skull icon up there. Tell you what we'll do. We'll go this path so we can get to the shop later. So here we go. We're in it, guys. This is how the gameplay works. One cool thing is you can hold two weapons at once. So you actually use right and mouse, right, right and left mouse button to fire. So you guys can see there. So we got that going. So we just got to basically follow the objectives. It says find the loot. Two items remain. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's roll in here and just start blasting these fools. Okay, there's a pressure plate, which should open a door. Um, let's see what our special abilities are. And there's a lot of enemies around. Um, okay, so we got Q for our tactical turrets. There we go. Nice combo. Okay, we got to open this gate here. Let's get to it. I believe the gate is open. We're picking up items. I'm not sure what they do. <laughs> it's all right. We're in it. The portal is open. All right. So it's a it's one of those games like Nuclear Throne or uh, any kind of extraction style shooter. Uh, what is our? Oh, there's our dash. That's a special ability. Okay, we've completed the objectives. It's time to get out of here. They only give you a minute. And the thing is, if you don't leave within that minute, there is a consequence. And maybe later I'll show you guys what that is. But, uh, oh, let's get back. I don't know what some of the pickups do, but uh, I can't help but just grab them, dude. So let's, let's just blast through these guys with our special ability. Oh, wow, lots of enemies coming in, huh? Set down the turrets. We got to get out of here. Got 30 seconds, man. And they're coming in hot. There's our uh there's our exit. Let's see. So the explosive barrels will kill other enemies there. Alright, so let's. I guess it reminds me most now that I'm thinking about extraction shooters, the uh 
the Deep Rock Galactic Survivor game. All right, we're out of here. We got 500 gold for that mission. That's pretty good, man. Or is that just the interest? Sorry, no, that's just the interest I think we earned on our 500. So we had a 67 hit combo there. Look at that. Four items and two XP gained. Let's see. We're... What's our loot here? Wow, man. We got a anti-grav platform. We got a barrage launcher, dude. Rocket launcher and then a rare perk. So let's take a look at how this works. Now, here are here's our new stuff. Let's open the perk first and see what we get. All right, we can do playing pinball plus 25% combo counter rate. Uh warp junkie heal 10 each level. And then gotta go fast, move 5% faster. I think I'll take the move speed upgrade there. Now let's think here. It's said that our our uh, our character likes to be close combat, right? And we're, we got a couple rocket launchers here. I will say, so we got an epic pair of boots, 20% movement. I think I'm okay with that. Let's throw those on. We might as well see what our uh, rocket launcher kind of looks like here we'll do the double rocket launchers here and we'll see how this does for us maybe it's it's gonna be too much maybe i'll get myself killed let's see what happens here find the loot dude let's test out our weapon oh so that's more of a uh, okay so that's interesting all right we're gonna have to see how this works guys let's get into the combat zone and see okay there's another gate let's let's investigate guys okay so this looks to be there's one of the gates. What's going on over here? Okay, let's open it up. I would say, guys, the uh, I believe the levels are all procedurally generated, as you probably guessed. I don't think I can hurt myself with the rocket barrage. It doesn't appear to be the case anyway. Let's get central to the room and throw down our turrets right there. Boom. All right. All right. Well, so far, I think this weapon swap is working out, dude. Gotta say. I jumped right over my my fire there. That's not cool. Let's blast through these fools. All right, I guess you can't uh, charge through the um, the crates there. Ooh, there's a little set them up. All right, so anyway, we got to get the other item. And let's get on that. Oh, yeah, so I, I did a run across these bridges in my first playthrough. Now, what these will do... Watch this. They will collapse on you, so you have to be kind of quick. The nice thing is, if there's enemies chasing you on the bridge, as I'm about to demonstrate for you guys, you can make them also fall into the water and get rid of them. So let's get out of here. We got 41 seconds to go. But uh, the new weapons do feel pretty good. And uh, let's see how we can get upgraded even more. Just blasting everything, dude. That's what these kinds of games are about. There's the portal. There's always seems to be... Okay, there's XP pickups near the portal. That's interesting. Let's get out of here. I saw a... Uh, I, I don't want to say a complaint, but I saw a comment on the uh, the Steam reviews. Um, one Somebody had said that they don't like how at the end of the mission, if you're dodging a lot of enemies, you can go through the portal. And I haven't really experienced anything like that myself yet. But I could see the complaint because you just walk right in. Might be something like when you go go over the portal, there's a little uh, pop up that says press Q to end the mission or, you know, something like that. Right. Something simple. All right. So we got a grenade storm item. Uh, I believe it's a weapon. And then we got a perk. Let's check out the perk here. What do we get? All right. So brinkmanship, we can have 50 plus 50 percent damage while under 50 percent health. I think I will do combat conditioning here. Although weapons with a larger area is kind of interesting with our crazy rocket launcher setup here. I don't know, dude. Man, grenade storm. Oh, it replaces our what was our tactical item prior? Did we not have one? Oh no, it was our that's right. It's our sentry gun. Okay, so let's try out the grenade storm. We'll see how this goes. Oh, we're about to hit up the shop, dude. So maybe uh, maybe we sell. Let's like sell combat boots. I think I'm okay selling shotguns, too. I might keep the turret kit just in case I like them, you know? Oh, wait a minute. There's a shop right here. 
I'll tell you what, though, guys. Um, I think the uh, the next um, shop area we're going to go to, they sell better items, I believe. Let's take a look and find out. Is this actually a mission? Okay, no, it's the shop. I th okay, let's see what this guy's got for sale. A cluster launcher, huh? Interesting. Stealth armor. Hmm. Now, how do I look at my inventory here? Is it... I didn't mean to shoot at that guy. He didn't seem to mind it, though. Okay, you can't just destroy some of the props and stuff. Maybe you can actually find, like... Oh, there's the exit. Okay, let's be... Let's explore before going through there. I wonder if you can find, like, money and stuff. Yes, yeah, so this guy has different weapons. A champion's belt, dude. Weapons have a 30% large. Let's buy that for sure, man. I wonder, is there a way to do my inventory, though? Well, guys, I looked in the menu settings. There wasn't a way to rebind keys or anything, so I don't know if there is a way to open the inventory in this area, but... Um, let's take one more look at what this guy's selling. Uh, forge item, add a modifier. Limit one per vendor. Is that free to do? Choose an item. Let's choose our... Let's choose the rocket. Well, wait a minute. That's a two-star rocket launcher. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and take that. Oh, haha. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not free. Okay, it makes sense. Makes sense here. Okay, I think we've got 400 bucks left. There's probably not much for us to buy. He kind of jumped over the uh, water. If you guys caught that, I don't know. I think there's not much we can do. I think we're too broke, so let's move on, guys. Let's move on here. Um, we actually got some interest just for going into the store. That's kind of funny. We got a bandana, dude. Let's take a look at our... Uh, there's our new belt. That's what I wanted to throw on while I was in the uh, shop there. So we got 30% larger area for our rockets and plus 20% knockback. A bandana would replace our Centurion helmet. I'm not so sure I want to use that. I don't think I do. Let's go back to the map, guys. Let's go to the next mission. It is an elite battle, but good thing we have... Find the loot. We have some badass loadout now. And we have the new grenade. What is that thing? Is this the... Ooh. Okay, they can... I guess they can't destroy those. I guess they're like traps or something, huh? What's this? Oh, that is a secret. Ooh, more traps. Dang. We're pretty slow. Not much to worry about, I don't think. All right. We got to open the gate. Guess there's multiple pads we gotta hit there. It's open, let's go. Oh, money. Oh yeah, we gotta test our grenade launcher. Let's do it now. It was a little too chaotic for me to see what happened. I think it did kill a bunch of guys though. But uh, anyway. We destroyed 50 out of 200 decorations. I guess there's an achievement for that. It must unlock an item or a weapon or something. Ooh, we've gotten all the... Uh, we've picked up all the um, objectives, so let's get out of here. I thought this was going to be an elite battle. Oh, look at this guy. Maybe <laughs> he died immediately, so that probably wasn't it. But uh, let's get out of here. Maybe there's a... Can you cut through the woods? No, doesn't look like it. Can you destroy the trees? No. Okay, that guy was a little tougher. Oh, man, the traps, though. Can we just walk to the side? I think you can. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here. Oh, I think I got hit by the uh, trap a little bit. I lost, like, four shield. Oh, yeah, so we got to be careful to try to collect our XP at the end there. 30 seconds. Is there a reason to stay behind, I wonder? to kill these dudes. What is the... Uh, there is a yellow arrow. I don't know what that is. We have 20 seconds, so I don't think I'm going to find out either. Yep, it's not happening. Let's get out of here. Actually, you you know what? Do you guys want to see what the, uh, the penalty is? Let's find out, man. 
So here we go. Three. I don't get a hit by the fire. Three seconds. Oh, I guess that's the penalty. You just die. <laughs> I thought here's what I thought was going to happen. I thought there was going to be like this crazy enemy that would come out and like hunt you down, you know, because you didn't finish the mission fast enough. But instead, you just die. So that's kind of funny. Uh, oh, check this out. We get a little bit of the meta progression action. We've got XP available to dole out here. Why don't we do this? Let's take a health increase. We'll do armor up, shield up. Oh, just kidding. Now we're broke. That's okay. We only did it. We did just the tiniest bit there. There's a leaderboard. Look at all this stuff. Obviously, guys, we're going to do another run here because I uh, found out. I effed around and found out what would happen if you let the timer run down. Let's take a look here. We got the Zen Master. He's got low health, but high shield, highly maneuverable. He can activate a powerful electric field when surrounded. We're going to try him out. But anyway, guys, this is a fun little kind of, um, like I said, you know, kind of like a nuclear throne or like a deep rock survivor, um, a little kind of like a lightweight action game. All right. So we got a uh, nuclear core. It's a relic. 50% chance for an explosion on kill. Unique relic. So uh, once again, guys, our relics are automatically equipped. Um, and so we don't really need to do anything on that. Let's see what this three, the three little uh, symbol icon is there. Um, and it's actually these two area. Let's go for this track here. Maybe we'll get better rewards or something. Destroy 30 enemies and collect three objectives. Wow. So there's a lot more to this uh, mission than the previous seems like. So he's got a dash. That's what I was using there. Oh, watch out. We'll see what his special is soon. It says it's if you're surrounded to use it. It'd be nice to know what the pickups are doing, but at the same time, like, we're not having much trouble yet in terms of, like, getting killed. Unless I run the clock out, of course. Okay, we got hit there. Oh... Interesting. So that the special ability, basically like a uh, like a taser, essentially, just zaps them. What's the plate for? Oh man, I'm getting hit all over the place. What's this do here? Okay, we opened uh, a gate up here, and what does it do? There is nothing here. <laughs> I wonder if an enemy was in there or something. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, oh look at this guy. Get lost, sucker. Oh, it's strong, huh? Oh, wow. Okay. We're moving. We're going to Rambo this. So the dash doesn't really... Uh... Yeah, that... Uh... That was really strong. The, the Tesla ability, I'll say. The, the taser. Very strong. Um, our dash does not seem to do any damage to the enemies, so something to think about. Yeah, that's really strong, man. That's awesome. Got a new record, a new run record. Up there, 38 combo, 39, 40. So I'm not sure what the combo does exactly for us, but maybe there's a... I, I guarantee you there's probably items... And uh, weapons that benefit from a high combo count. If you're the type of, uh, you know, if, if that's your if you if that's your type of thing, you could probably uh, figure out um, basically a loadout that would reward a high combo count. All right, we gotta go. There's a one XP. Oh, we got we got three XP so far. How come the timer is not counting down? That is peculiar. I wonder why. Let's just see what happens here. We're not really getting... I don't think we're getting anything, right? By fighting these guys. Let's just get out of here. But I'm not sure why. Why was there no counter on that mission? 
versus it seems like every other one had a counter. I don't know. We got a rusted pot of helmet. Let's take a look here. We got a, a good rare perk though. Okay, shop rerolls are twenty percent cheaper. Um, bartering. Hey, that's pretty good. And then high craftsmanship. Uh, let's take the bartering there. Let's take a look at our new helmet. It would replace a bandana, dude. Uh, thirty-one percent crit chance, and then hundred and sixty-five armor, dude. I suppose we we throw it on there and see what happens. I guess sure. Crit damage is double on the pistols. Okay. It is so interesting to me that there's a shop. Like, I could just buy a better. Three random modifiers, huh? Spiral laser grenade lock. Aviator hat. Wow. I guess if you get in trouble, you can always buy health, too. Sparring pads. What is my armor now? Plus 120. I'm fine. Let's just keep pushing along, guys. So let's see what this encounter is all about. Destroy 30 enemies. Collect three objectives. The 30 enemies part is very easy to do. It doesn't take too long to get that done. Oh, but you're getting shot, so watch out. That ability is going to be hard to top, to be honest. Like, whatever I pick up, don't think it's going to be as good as that. Guy walked into the water. I don't know if you guys caught that. That's kind of funny. Oh, yeah. It's so good, man. Can I get out this way? I wonder. Nope. Dead end. <laughs> so, yeah, as I was saying earlier, guys, I believe the, uh, um, the maps are procedurally generated, for better or for worse. Oh. Oh, yeah. If you guys notice in the upper left corner, it does say plus 13% enemy health. So rather than fight an elite enemy, it's just a modifier that seems to apply to all enemies, which is what that little skull icon was all about. So I assume that by doing a harder mission with a modifier on it, we would get better rewards. I'm just assuming that. So at the end of the map, we'll have to see what we pick up here. All right, let's get this done, guys. I think we've killed our... Uh Oh, yeah, we've destroyed 80 enemies, so we've already satisfied our requirement there. There's that turret. Let's get it. Oh, interesting. So the uh, the little Tesla zapper doesn't seem to affect the turret. I wonder why that is. Damn, this guy's aggressive, huh? Good thing the, uh, the uh, exit's right here, so... Wow, this guy can take a beating, huh? Wow, I got an XP for killing that guy. So remember, XP is your uh, meta progression um, currency, basically. So anyway, we can get out of here. So there's no, um, there's no timer. I wonder why that is. Maybe the meter to the right. It is. It is moving up. So that maybe the timer only starts when that meter is full. That's probably why. I guess when we were playing that other map, I just wasn't really uh, paying attention to that, and that's why we got we got uh, squashed on that. But anyway, let's just get out of here, guys. I don't see any benefit to uh, killing more enemies. Maybe there is a reason to do it, but I'm not seeing it at the moment. Guess we just collect everything. All right, let's get out of here. More XP, nothing else. We're gone. Let's maybe get some better weapons if we can here. But uh, all right, what do we get for it? We got a rail gun, dude. Let's see. Inflicts a fight. Okay, well, that seems interesting. New perk. Let's pop this thing. Scavenger. Clips are 10% larger. Are they talking about clips on ammo? Clips? Frugal. Fast hands. Okay, shorter clip reload. I like the sound of that. There's our new weapon. Let's throw this bad boy on, dude. So now we have a rail gun and our pistol. Obviously, we're going to be looking for better weapons. Okay, so we have another, um, another modifier on this battle. Let's see what this is about. 
Plus 16% enemy health. All right. So we'll test out our railgun just a second here. So the, the those crates don't seem to have anything inside. Doesn't seem to be a real reason to destroy them. Maybe maybe there was just something in that one. Oh, we got the trap again. Can we just go around it? Oh, they get, get they get uh, affected by the trap too. There's the rail. Oh, the railgun's pretty good. Oh man, does high damage. Pierces. Dude, that's good. Okay, but yeah, the reload is brutal. So be careful. The portal is open. Okay, yeah, the timer did jump quite a bit right then. Okay, so that... That makes more sense now. Oh, we gotta replace this pistol now that I've got a better weapon here. What is in here, though? Uh, the trap once again. Oh, here's all the stuff. Oh, I love that the enemies get hit by the traps. That's one of a pet peeves of mine in games like this where uh, where the enemies don't get affected by the traps. And I always thought that's kind of a, a cheap cop out, you know? Whoa. Oh, watch out. Don't blow up the barrels right next to them. Uh, where are we going? We're going up. Railgun's pretty sweet, though. That's that's a good weapon, man. Whoop. Nice, dude. Yeah, once again, so there there is a timer right now, and the meter is not full. So there goes my whole theory about that. <laughs> I'm not sure. But let's not die like we did the other time. Okay, we did it. The timer thing is confusing, but I'm just going to let it ride. It's not that bad. We got a flamethrower and swarm missiles, dude. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a look. Well, obviously, we want flamethrower next to our railgun. Let's open the perk, dude. We got 40% damage while fully shielded. Interesting. Or we have a straight up 10% damage up. I think I'm going to go for the uh, blanket upgrade there. So the electric field is a common tactical item, and now we have a Swarm Missiles plus two. I guess we better try it out, right? Now, as I was saying before, I I am sort of suspicious. Man, it does 25 damage, but this does 50. This is double damage. How can it be worse, right? Famous last words. Let's see what this is, this double uh, negative ability. Okay, so the health and damage up both. Okay, so let's let's see uh, how bad this is here. We got traps, of course. Ooh, careful. Let's see the flamethrower now. Okay. All the boxes are fighting back. Watch out. Holy crap, dude, what? Let's open this gate up. Let's go. Oh, is that guy a sniper? What was that guy? Here we go. Railgun is pretty awesome. Oh, there's the rockets. Okay. They do seem strong. Oh, the railgun's so good, dude. Oh. I got hit by something. I guess, uh... Oh, he can't even get through there. He's so big. <laughs> so I was saying, uh... Okay, interesting. All right, we got to get out. Oh, the portal's right here. And there's no... Where'd the trap go? What happened there? I, I'm really confused. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh yeah, the missiles are pretty strong. All right, I don't think they're gonna stop coming, so we can just, we can just move on guys. Let's get out of here. Whoops. All 
All right. We got smart boots. Oh my God, we got a lot of stuff, man. Wow. Okay. Tectonic plating. Wow. A crown. Okay, well, we have a lot of uh, new choices here. Plus 15% faster projectiles. Weapons have plus 10% longer range. Again, the combo counter thing, I, I'm not just not sure what that does for us exactly. Shock for 10 damage when hit with the thorns. I, I want to, you know, I think I'll have, I'll have this um, upgrade. Okay. Better boots. Uh, better accuracy. What do we give up? We're giving up some armor and health. I think I'm totally okay with that. And then we say for the armor. Yeah, that's straight up 16 health, 132 armor. That's just way better. And weapons have a larger area, which is awesome for uh, rocket launchers. So we got a rare crown plus sh 10 shield, 15% max shield up, and then shield recovery. Let's throw that bad boy on. Uh, okay, we're sitting on 1600 bucks. Let's take a look at the shop here. Maybe the grenade launcher would be better than um, the flamethrower. We could also buy a new perk, a rare perk. That's interesting. Okay, let's go back. Um, I wish I could see. Oh, there's my health stat in the upper right. So we have full health. It's good to know. We could just sell a bunch of stuff, too. Let's do that. I'm keeping around the electric field. I, I don't know. I guess the rockets are better. Probably. So now we've got uh, 2,000, a little bit over 2,000 bucks. Let's grab this grenade launcher. And then we say... Let's grab the perk, too. Okay. Um, plus 10% max health and then armor. Yeah, we'll take that. And then throw that grenade launcher. Okay, now we're cooking, I think. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's we're fighting the boss, guys. So good thing we uh good thing we got all amped up here to do this. Let's see what this is like. Alright, guys, you ready for this? The excavator spent too much time in the sandbox. He's got a lot of health. Where is he at? Eat some rockets. Oh, shit. What was that? Did he, like... Oh, is he tunneling around? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he, like, tunnels. Okay, so he'll burrow in the ground... He comes out. There he is. Oh, he's throwing barrels at us, man. Okay, yeah, we've taken some damage against him. So I gotta be a little more... Okay, right there, we took a hit. Ow. Okay, we got him on the ropes, but we're getting damaged pretty badly here. Where's he at? There he is. Eat that. Oh, no. We got him so close, dude. There we go. That was pretty bad. <laughs> but we got him. Holy crap, he dropped a ton of stuff. Wow. Damn, why is this guy so strong? What in the world? Holy crap, we got all this stuff. Dang, man. I like that. You know, you might as well get a good reward if you're fighting a, an enemy like that. But man, we need to heal now. So it's 13% faster escalation, whatever that was related to. I don't know. I think we're done here, though. I don't see anything else to grab. Let's get out of here. Dang. What do we get? Act 2, the mountain. That looks pretty rough. Holy crap. Heart of gold. Look at all this stuff. Jeez. Okay. Bottomless magazines, consumables, huh? I haven't seen those yet. Okay, so uh, let's check out the perk. Let's, yeah, let's do better shields. 
another grenade launcher. It's not as good as the one that I have. It's just a standard one. So we got lightning rod hat. Plus 200 armor. Epic, dude. Uh, I don't know, man. I, if it gave me, like, if it actually fired at the enemy, I think I would want it more. I think plus 200 armor is not bad, but the extra shield... I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with it for now. Survival armor. Dang, that's a lot of extra armor, man. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, these are one-time use for the uh, whatever level you're on, I see. Okay, I'm going to save those for the... Uh... Although, I don't know. This looks like it's going to be pretty gnarly. On the left, we have... I don't know what this is, but then there's a shop... I've only got 800 bucks. I don't think the shop is going to be that helpful, honestly. Let's go this way. It's going to be more. You know, what? I will pop a. Uh, let's pop a potion, though. Let's grab. Oh, this lasts three levels. So let's use this. OK, let's let's see what this does here. Let's <laughs> see what this is. Uh, What this map is like. So it looks like there's just kind of. Snow on the ground or something, yeah. Oh, is this actually a boss fight? The big green, don't breathe it in, dude. Holy. Where is this guy? Oh, I gotcha. He's like... He's like a poison enemy. Sliming it. We don't have to get near him because we got the... Uh, we got the railgun, dude. He's spawning too many minions, though. But we're just tearing him up with the distance. He's kind of got no defense against this. He's spawning, like, more difficult uh, minions for us to work through, though. Look at the size of this one. Okay, maybe we can go around the other side, huh? Let's see. Yeah. Get blasted. Got him. Oh my god, he drops so much stuff. It's crazy. Even for like a first... I just don't know if that was like a... Is this supposed to be like a random battle? Do I get anything for blowing up the snowman? I think we're going to have a lot of XP for the uh, meta progression stuff after this. Yeah, he dropped one. I was curious about that. So the bigger enemies seem to drop XP. I think we got everything. What's up? What's going on up here? Watch out, dude. Watch out. I'm glad we popped that potion, though, because I feel like uh, it did help out. All right, I think we just we just got to go. I don't think there's anything left to do. All right. Well, man, this is crazy, huh? Another consumable picked up. That's good. The wizard hat. Connoisseur's eyeglasses, steel belt, dude. A lot of interesting things. It's a relic, man. That's awesome. Okay, let's check check out our new stuff. Weapons at 50%. See, yeah, again, with the rocket launchers, that's pretty good. Um, I guess with the railgun, does it make sense? The grenade launcher is good. I think that's okay. All right. Um, this is probably better. 190 armor, man. That's, that's a common item, though. Just has energy recharge. Don't know if we're really hitting energy issues, you know? Well, that's an upgrade to the belt big time. Got a better pistol. Okay, so... 
Um, we've got 1600 bucks. Explorer's armor, huh? Okay, I'm going to save the money for now. Let's just keep pressing on here. So we got a pretty bog standard mission selection. Plus 20% enemy health, though. Get blasted. I missed. <laughs> I missed. Okay, let's get the objectives first, I think, before opening. Um, maybe we don't have a choice, it turns out. Oh, this time you can't uh, you can't cheese the trap this time. You have to actually, because of the water, you have to actually go through it uh, uh, properly. Okay. I think I'm. I think the loadout is working. You know. By the way, I should mention, guys, that the weapons automatically reload over time. Oh, it shows me on the map, or the uh, that little mini-map. Oh. That was not open long. Is it still... Okay, this one did open. Gotcha. So it's kind of the both of them opened. It's interesting. Ooh, I got shot just standing there like a dummy. What's going on here? More traps? These aren't too bad to dodge, though. Oh, watch out. Got an XP for killing that guy. There's an item right there. Okay, we're done here. Let's get out of here, dude. But don't leave the money. I'm sure as the, as the game progresses and it gets harder, the traps get worse, I'm going to guess, you know? But for now, they're not too bad. My goodness. Lots of enemies. It's getting crazy, huh? Are they like healing each other? What was that about? They're like shooting that green stuff. What the hell is that? Okay, let's just go. I think soon enough we're gonna have the uh the super enemy coming after us. Oh. Damn, these dudes can take a hit, though. Damn. Well, oh, he dropped healing, it looks, it looks like. Interesting. Dude, he's jumping over my grenades. You gotta go. All right. Oh, he dropped money, so that's good. Okay, guys, we gotta get out of here. I don't know why I went this way. Okay, there is a... Oh, just walk on the trap. That's a good idea. Oh, the timer's almost here. Uh, we gotta get going. How did I miss that the uh, exit was exactly where we were before? And forcers are here. See, this is what I would I thought was gonna happen... Last time, when the timer ran out, the enforcers were going to come after us. But that's not what happened. I just died. So it's confusing. Anyway, where, do they, where are they? I want to see what they look like. And they're not on the map. So they might be, like, coming in hot. I don't see anything. Oh, that must be them there. Okay. Yeah, they look like they, they mean business. And there's a lot of them, too. Look at that. Can they figure out to get, how to get over here? I don't think they can. All right. That's fine. We can go. Yeah, they were stuck on the, uh, on the map over there. Wow. Uh, extendo mag, dude. 
A better Centurion helmet. Interesting. Let's open this bad boy. One free forge, huh? Oh, let's do our... We actually have stuff that's boosting the crits, so we might as well. Take some extra shield. Uh, The Centurion helmet... Plus 22% damage. I'm sold. Nothing else that good. Let's take a look at the map. Guys, so, okay, I want to see. I'll get to this red, uh, this mini boss is what I think it is. Then I think we got to call the video, guys, because it's getting kind of long. But uh, I'm having a good time. I'm, uh, it's interesting because if you're the impatient type, I think the traps would be more of a problem. But they're pretty generous with the uh, amount of time it takes to recharge the trap. Okay, let's see. Oh, what is this thing? conveyor belt or something. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so if you run against it... Yeah, it's a conveyor belt. Interesting. There's one objective. I think what I'd like to see more of is, like, special things scattered around the maps. So that if you're exploring a lot, you may get something of a reward, sort of. Nothing that's, like, crazy, but it'd be kind of fun to find special items and stuff. There's some potential there for ideas. Perhaps that was one right there. I just picked up a little bit of XP. Oh, yeah, we've killed uh, we've killed over 80 enemies, so we're, we're good on that. Let's get our uh, objective and get out of here. Then we can do that, uh, the mini boss fight. And I'll probably call it. Oh, gas chamber. Watch out, dude. Oh, no. Is it from the, tra oh, it is from the trap. Okay, interesting. I didn't even notice I was getting hit by an enemy just now. <laughs> There's the objective. Boom. Oh, it blew up the trap. That's interesting. Wonder if that was because I shot the barrel or because of the portal. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, all right. We lost our uh, our shield boost. Got to keep that in mind. There's a better lightning rod hat. Okay, I think we're gonna be putting some of this new stuff on for sure, man. Let's do. Um, sure, maybe we can. Since we're actually getting hit by traps now. All right, so this is the new lightning rod, huh? Does seem pretty good. I'm going to throw it on there. We are losing our our damage bonus, though. Right? Yeah, you know what? I'm just putting that back on. I want my damage bonus. Survival armor. That's a big boost to armor, man. That's like a crazy boost, huh? I think it's too good to ignore. Okay. Let's do uh yeah, let's let's go ahead and use this guy. So for the next two battles we'll be Oh, just kidding, we're doing this battle, that's right. Alright, it's another sort of mini boss fight. So let's see. There's nothing back there. It's time to do this. Let's see who we're up against here. The foreman punches time cards and garnishes your wages. What's his deal here? He's faster than me, I guess, or not quite. Ooh, lots of enemies, though. Okay, watch out. Ooh. Okay, yep. That's a problem. I understand now. Oh, my God. Okay, I, <laughs> they uh, they will hook you, and then you are kind of 
up shit creek man right there all right hey look at that defeat big green dude okay um so yeah that's about an hour of gameplay between my first session in this video and we've unlocked only about 40 items guys so there's a lot of content here we've got uh, our meta progression stuff as you guys know and uh there you go that is cubed and dangerous guys as always i will have a link in the description below so if, if this game looks fun you can go head over and check it out for yourself i'd like to thank the developers for reaching out and sending this one my way thank you guys for watching if you watch the whole video it does really help me i'm trying to grow the channel a little bit more now so i do really appreciate it and if you guys have any recommendations of other games to try please leave a comment below and let me know that's it for me today, guys. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you for the next one.